So you've heard of football games like FIFA Football 2002, you've also heard of Pro Evolution Soccer 2, but have you heard of This Is Football 2002? This is probably a football game you've never played or never even heard of. This was a franchise competing with FIFA and PES at the time, and obviously we know who came out on top over the years. Today we're going to have a look back at This Is Football 2002. On the back of the CD case, it says photorealistic football superstars, photorealistic on a PlayStation 2 graphics. How is that even photorealistic? I guess I'm going to show you some photorealistic gameplay today. Full season mode complete with promotion, relegation and qualification for European tournaments. Enhanced AI and superior player animations. Wow, could even be better than hypermotion at the moment. Over 5,000 players in the game, 320 club and international teams, and genuine crowd reactions and authentic supporter chants. So they're promising the big stuff on the back of the case. Is it really going to be photorealistic? Who knows? But um, yeah, we're going to take a look and see what it has to offer. Now, if you enjoy these history videos, please leave a like for me. It always helps when you do that. And make sure you subscribe for more history videos in the future. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some fee for coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. So here is a brief summary of This Is Football 2002 from Wikipedia. This Is Football 2002, also known as World Tour Soccer 2002 in North America. So if you lived in America, you might have heard of World Tour Soccer maybe. Is an association football video game developed by Team Soho and published by Sony Computer Entertainment in Europe and 989 Sports in North America exclusively for PlayStation 2. It is the first to be released on the PlayStation 2. The British version of the game featured Leeds United and England national team player Rio Ferdinand on the cover. In terms of gameplay, This Is Football 2002 was licensed by Fifth Pro. However, English club Arsenal and Italian club Juventus were unlicensed and were listed in the game as Highbury and Turin respectively. What is it with the Juventus license? I mean, FIFA still doesn't have the Juventus license. It looks like Juventus always played hard to get when it came to licensing. The game introduced a number of features unique to the football games at the time, such as being able to make players dive deliberately. Wow. So you can do deliberate dives in this game, which you couldn't in the other games. A feature described at the time as controversial. Come on, man. Everyone was whinging about deliberately diving in a video game. It also granted players the opportunity to deliberately foul with two-footed tackles. Wow. I've got to figure that out, man. I want to two-foot some guy, man. This is Football 2002 was released in 2001, September, to be the first football game released before Christmas prior to the release of FIFA and Pro Evo series of games. So, the first game before Christmas. Reception. This is Football 2002 received generally positive reviews. According to review aggregator Metacritic, the BBC praised This Is Football 2002 for the unique gameplay features like the dives, but stated that the tactics and AI was poor compared to FIFA and PES. Wales on Sunday likewise praised the detail of players and stadiums, but criticised it for being similar to previous football games. IGN gave it an 8 out of 10. Uh, review praising its gameplay and graphics, but criticised the sound effects of the crowd. I swear IGN gives everyone 8 and 9 out of 10s anyway. The majority of the reviews put the majority of the negatives down to the developers' inexperience of making football games compared to the longer-running rival franchises. Copper90 named it as one of their top 10 football games in history. So, guys, we could be playing some remarkable football gameplay today. That's pretty much it. It looks like it's got some good reviews. Top 10 football games in history. I think we're playing something special today. Here are the menus for This Is Football 2002. You've got Quick Game, you've got Exhibition, Competitions, Options, Custom Teams, and the Trophy Cabinet. If we go into Quick Game, it looks like it'll just basically pick the teams for you. So you can be Australia or France. This is my version of the game anyway. Um, you can do automatic controls or manual controls. Not really sure what the difference is at the moment. I'll just leave it on automatic. Exhibition is where you can choose all the teams. So it looks like um, you've got generic kits. We do have Asian countries in the game. We've got Australia, China, Iran, Japan, you know, the continents and stuff. We go on to the Belgian League. So we do have the Belgian League. And uh, I think these could be fake names. I don't know. Some of them look fake to me, but I'm not really too familiar with that competition. I think we've got Amsterdam there. Obviously, I think that could be Ajax. So yeah, it looks like some teams will be generic. You've got the English League, Blackburn, Bolton, Charlton. These are real names. Chelsea there. Generic kits though. Not sure about the player names, but if FIFA Pro has the license, then we could be all right. Highbury is Arsenal there. Leeds United as well. Leicester, Liverpool, Manchester, Middlesbrough, Newcastle, Southampton, Sunderland, Tottenham, and Villa. West Ham. And uh, let's go. English Division 1. So we do have the championship. Barnsley, Birmingham, we've got the names there, Burnley, Manchester City, English Division 1, French Division 1, that's pretty good, we've got the French Division 2 as well, German League, Bayern Munich and that, uh, we've also got the Italian League, so Bari, Bergamo, Bologna, Bergamo is the same in um, FIFA at the moment I think, could be wrong, so let's uh, move on, Portuguese League here, 
We've also got the Scottish League, Spanish League, Super Teams. Don't know what the Super Teams are, but the Europe Super Team. I might have to take a look at that. Time Warp Teams, 50s Madrid. Are you serious? 50s Madrid? 60s Glasgow? Wow. 60s Manchester. So you can play classic teams. Man, we don't even get that in FIFA. 60s Tottenham. That is pretty cool. Let's see if there's like the 90s. This would be pretty cool. Oh, no. it's not many 90s teams. 90s Barcelona. That could be interesting. We've also got Euro Clubs 1, which could be like the rest of the world clubs from Europe that sort of get put into one category. There's also Euro Clubs 2. So there is a selection of teams here. World Club Cup. Can't believe there's the World Club Cup teams. So Buenos Aires, Boca Juniors, Los Angeles, Mexico. I didn't realize there were this many teams. School teams. Even the school teams. Byron Court. Are these real schools? That's what I want to know. Putter Ridge High, Upminster, they, these could be real schools, I don't know. Someone let me know. And that's basically your team selection. Actually, no, European, uh, that looks like countries. Then we've got South American, so these are your international teams. Americas, African, Asian, and that's about it. There is competitions in the game. You can do a national season, special competition or international competition. There's a World Cup, Euro Cup, that's pretty cool. I'm um, not really sure about the other seasons. I guess they would be uh, English season and that. Okay, I understand. So it's like career mode, I guess, but you just play the matches. Options, you've got match settings, stadium select. Let's see if there's any stadiums. So we've got England, Spain, Italy. Are they like licensed? Probably not. Germany, USA, and Brazil, Holland, random. So not many stadiums there, and they don't actually have a name. They're just based on the country. Time of the day, you can do day and night. Weather conditions, clear, overcast, rain, snow. It's not bad. Bit of options here. The rest is just camera settings, audio options, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at custom teams here. So we've got team edit, load team, delete team, reset teams. So let's see what team edit does. Let's pick anything here. So name team, manager name, edit lineup, assign roles, home stadium select, edit team kit, edit team flag, customize players, save the team. So edit team kit, let's see. So, oh wow, you can... um. Change the actual kit, so if you're not happy with what they gave you, you can change the color. Let me see, can we do much? It's very finicky. I don't think there's much to this. I'm trying to change the color, but it still remains white. So, oh, maybe this, maybe this will work. I don't know, let me see. Is there a way I can select it? Yeah, okay, so that's how it works. I get it now, so at least uh, you can customize the kits. Imagine doing that in FIFA. I know they're generic, so you can. Now, there's also the trophy cabinet as well. So you can see your trophies won, the difficulty that you won them on. And that's basically it. I don't know how you unlock trophies and stuff, but I actually would be probably through season mode, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that, that gives you a little bit of information there. Let's go to exhibition. Let's play a match. I'm going to pick the two teams and we'll go from there. Before we get into it, I want to take a look at these uh, old teams, these classic teams. So we'll do the 60s Manchester United first. I just want to see their lineup. We'll go with the 90s Barcelona, I guess. We're going to do automatic and let's take a look at the lineup. So let's see if I know any of these players. I think Charlton is there. George Best as well. That's pretty cool. I don't know every player here, but I do recognize Best and Charlton at least. On the right, we've got Guardiola, Eusebio, Laudrop, Romario as well. So they do have their names in the game. So that's very nice to see those classic teams, man. We, we never really get this in FIFA. Next up, I want to take a look at the Europe Super Team, which is on your right. So just keep an eye out. So we've got Khan, Maldini, Stam, Nesta, Turam, Zidane, Davids, Henri, Beckham, Raul, Figo. What a team that is, my goodness. On the left is the Manchester United team. Not bad as well. I think we'll do this matchup. Manchester United versus the European All-Stars. And I think we're going to get pumped. But um, I don't think there's even difficulties in this game. I wasn't able to actually change anything, so... We'll just dive in head first here. So we've got a snowy day here, Manchester versus Europe. And uh, I don't know what stadium we're in, but um, the graphics, photorealism, of course, definitely. Can't believe what I'm seeing, man. It looks fantastic. Oliver Kahn there as well. Taram. Look at that. They're stretching before the game, shaking the ref's hands. You don't even get this cutscene in FIFA anymore. There's a coin toss. Let's see. There we go. The, the ref's uh, laying down the rules, I guess. Nice little point, And we're off. Now, I don't know why the camera angle is so close to the players but it looks like it does open up a bit and already oh man <laughs> it's hard to play man i don't know the controls um, i'm trying to use the analog stick but you can play with the directional arrows as well if you don't want to use the analog stick but um the cameras are way too zoomed in for my liking can't even see the players half the time but let's see what beckham can do it's more responsive than uh eFootball when eFootball first came out so that's a positive roy Keane with the hit good save the keepers are at least pretty good so far but obviously with 2002 games they're not holding up well today especially on a ps2 um they're, they're barely uh graphically adequate i guess i don't know the words to use but 
they do, they do the job. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Is Raul is throwing goal here. Good save by uh, our keeper here. I think it's Bartez. Yep. Let's see how we go here. Maybe we try and do that two-footed challenge soon. And that's another good save. Let me know if you played This Is Football 2002 or any of the This Is Football games. For me, they're always that kind of game that just rocks up at your house. You don't know how it got there, who bought it for you. Maybe it's one of those Christmas gifts from someone that probably doesn't know nothing about football games but saw it on the shelf and thought, oh yeah, little Johnny likes football. Is that a deliberate tackle? What happened there? Was he even close to the ball? Okay, the ball went. I couldn't see what happened. That was a late challenge. Come on, ref, Roy Keane. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, little Johnny, you know, they're trying to buy him a gift. They go to the shop and they see this is football on the shelf and they pick it up. I think that's how most of the people got their copies of the game. That's a nice header, but it gets blocked. Could have been a goal. We're going to play through the middle. Have a hit. Got to be a goal. What a shot. And Paul Scholes has scored our first goal of the day. I don't know what difficulty we're on. We've got a guy crying already. 27 minutes in. Scholes does the slide. Photo realism right there. We've got David Beckham on the ball here. Got to be careful. I don't know. Oh, look at that challenge. That was pretty late. So if you press R2, it does like this slide tackle. I think it could be the two-footed tackle we just did. He could be sent off here. I love how the ref's just telling them all off. Oh, Beckham gets a red card. He's off. Yeah, don't press the R2. I was pressing it because I thought it was the sprint button, but it's not. Your guy will do the two-footed tackle. Look at that two-footed challenge. <laughs> Can we do dives in this game? If I press R2, is he going to dive? No, he's... Oh, yes, he does. He does. Did you see how he just flopped? He just flopped to the ground. He's not even going to get a yellow card, is he? I don't think so. No, he's not. So maybe there's no sprint button in this game. Or maybe it's L1. Oh, look at that skill move. If you press L1, he does skill moves. Look at that. Can't even do that with Harry Maguire in FIFA 22. And he just fell on the floor. What's he trying to do, man? He just fell on the floor. So, yeah, still don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what the sprint button is. Probably does not even exist. And it could be another goal here. Good save. Bartez really keeping it together at the moment. So, for this game to be voted top 10 games of all time, I don't know what was so special about this game. I, I don't really see anything that's like... Super fantastic, but maybe at the time it was better than FIFA and Pez, I don't know. But obviously you wouldn't come back in 2022 to try and complete a whole season of the game. It would just, uh, it wouldn't be possible, man. It just wouldn't be possible. Gonna have to bring the keeper out here. Nah, this Bartez is unstoppable, mate. They've had 12 shots, we've had 3 shots on goal. Somehow we're the ones in the lead. Look at this, another shot coming. Another save by the keeper. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel sorry for him. They've had 13 shots on target. Skulls, can he score another goal here? Oh, that's a penalty ref, come on. Well, I'll tell you what, the AI is not afraid to give you a tackle. And he's just conceded a penalty here. I don't know how we're going to score this because I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I'll use the analog stick. What was that? Oh, my goodness. I, I just pressed the shoot button. So I don't know what was going on there. The camera just swings around so fast. Skulls has it here with the left foot. The shots are pretty good. The, the shooting feels all right in this game. I don't mind it. All right, there is cameras. Okay, so you can do overhead and sight. There's only two. Camera position, near medium or far. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Maybe far is better. That looks better. That looks more like a FIFA game. But I can't believe the default was the, the camera that swings around. And it was so near to the players. Skulls. Play it up. Then Mr. Roy has a hit. Oh, he hits it straight at the keeper. David's on the ball. That's a nice pass. And now Beckham is throwing goal here. What's he going to do? Keeper's not coming out. He's just standing there. The keeper just stands there. My goodness. I'm trying to bring him out. It wasn't happening, mate. It was not happening. Beckham asking the crowd for some noise. Going to cross it in. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. And I think we hit the post. So the game put us in extra time here. So I guess we have a uh, half an hour left to play besides penalties. Raul throw on goal here. Keeper, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. The keeper is so OP. I love how he just stands there, waits for the guy to shoot. And then he makes the miracle save. And then he can't even stop that one. He couldn't even stop that one. All right, to be fair, it was a good goal. Nice header. Beautiful placement. No keeper's getting that one. Here we go. Beckham throwing goal again. The keeper, good save. I love how he just stands there and then pulls off the miracle stops. Roy Keane still can't get the ball. It's very hard to get the ball off these guys. Could be another goal here. Oh, no, he's missed. And <laughs> Bates saves it again. Let's cross it in, see if we can score. We win the header. Oh, we hit the bar again. Are you serious? Ah, oh, man. It looks like it's game over now. There we go. Let me know if you played This Is Football 2002. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, it was fun to come back and play it, but obviously it doesn't hold up. You wouldn't want to do a whole career mode season in this game. It would just be too frustrating. 
But these were the games out there in 2002, man. That was what it was like. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe for more history videos. I'll see you next time.